You know, I spent part of the last two weeks in Seattle, and I spent part of my time there doing research, I guess, at pot stores, or more formally, recreational marijuana retail outlets. Yes, they're legal in Seattle, totally legit, no need to slither into have a heart on 36th Street with a bag over my head. No need to stress about a seedy stoner crew. I saw as many suits as Birkenstocks. And unlike what some marijuana opponents told you, it is not Reefer Madness, the sequel. Exactly. Other than making sure every customer is at least 21, they're pretty much like liquor stores are here. Though I must admit that when a 20-something at the door asked to see my license, I momentarily felt like Seattle police were going to descend on me any second. It all got me to thinking about our road here in Massachusetts. From voter approval last November to retail outlets first scheduled to open next January, now postponed till July of next year. I, for one, am not holding my breath. Just before the deadline, the final members of the state's Cannabis Control Commission were appointed. Their job is to oversee introduction of this new industry. But four of the five commissioners chosen voted no on the ballot question they're charged with implementing, as did the politicians who appointed them, Governor Baker, Treasurer Goldberg, and Attorney General Healy. Now you might say, so what? But I'd say when opponents outnumber proponents four to one, and when one of those four is also a politician, well, it'd be tempting not to help too much to stall just a little, to subtly undermine instead of wholeheartedly help, and when inevitable problems arise, to say, I told you so. Remember our medical marijuana mess? You voted for it overwhelmingly four years ago. But just like in the recreational vote, politicians overwhelmingly opposed it. And what happened? More than four years after approving medical marijuana, how many counties are still waiting for even one dispensary? Eight out of 14, more than half. So are we talking deja vu all over again? Well, I hope the commissioners prove me wrong. But like I said, I'm not holding my breath. And regardless, we'll always have Seattle.